Hello everybody and welcome to Guru3D TV. My name is Hilbert and today we'll be reviewing the KFA2 GeForce GTX 460 WHDI. It's a mouthful alright. It's a wireless graphics card, so let's have a look. So over here we have the receiver device of the WHDI. This is uh, the, on the television end. This box connects towards your television. Right now it's already linked up, as you can see on the two LED lights. The network and the video card link have been made. Um, at the front side there is furthermore not a lot of information or anything to show you. On the back side we have three connectors. We can see a power connector over here. We can see an HDMI connector which connects towards your television and is responsible for a 720p or 180p uh, monitor resolution or television resolution if you like to call it. And over here we have a small uh, USB connector with an included cable that KV2 supplies. Um, you can connect a keyboard or a mouse to it, so you can control your PC from another room. That's really handy. Also, you could um, connect a flash, USB flash drive to it and upgrade your firmware this way. So that's, that's quite convenient if you need any updates. So when we flip the camera around a little bit, we can uh, zoom in on the graphics card. It's installed in the PC right now, already active and working. So that's pretty much the KFA2 GeForce TTX 460. WHDI graphics card. Um, looks quite normal. For the design it's a little bit longer but the most interesting stuff is of course to be found at the back side. Um, let's have a look at that. So here we have the back side of the graphics card. Uh, you can see the five antennas responsible for transmitting and receiving data on the 5 gigahertz channel uh, for communication in between the WHDI receiver and this transmitter. Um, there's also something else going on here. You can spot the standard monitor connectors over here of course but also there's a small USB connector over here when we insert this little cable and look upwards and follow the cable we just connected it to the USB port of the PC USB signals can be transmitted back and forth towards the WHDI receiver as well that means that on the TV front you can connect a keyboard or a mouse or a media remote towards the USB port on the receiver. That way when you have the PC in another room you can still control it remotely. Very handy, very clever. So as you can see here we uh, hooked up the entire set. The graphics card is installed into the PC. Um, please make sure you install the latest GeForce Forceware driver. Uh, that's the only way to get 180p support straight out of the box. We had a problem before um, where the resolution was stuck at 720p uh, but that was because we didn't install the newest driver. Um, once you install the driver, just hook up the receiver towards the television, power it on and a link will be done automatically. Um, in Windows, Windows 7 right now, uh, we're looking at 180p. The quality is quite good. There are no real defects or, or image quality degradations. So that's looking pretty good. Um, this is of course perfect for HTPC usage and I just wanted to show you this. Um, let me drop some of the Super Bowl trailers onto Media Player Classic Home Cinema Edition. Right now you're looking at 180p content. As you can hear we have uh, audio, it's Dolby Digital 5.1. Let's just have a look how well this behaves. So there you have it, it's 180p content being transmitted from a graphics card towards a receiver close by to the television. The PC can be anywhere in your house, it can be 30 meters away and the signal still works quite perfectly. So it's a really fun box, it's a really fun setup and it's a really fun device once you get it working of course. Um, this video review is part of a written review at guru3d.com, please check that out, read the full content. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.